In 2022, small subwoofers will be key for music and home theater enthusiasts. With their low-frequency output, these subs will add depth and punch to your audio experience, whether you're watching a movie or listening to your favorite music. Don't miss out on this important technology. Check out our video to learn more about the best small subwoofer for music and home theater in 2022. We have included links in the description box. Let's get started. At number one is Klipsch R100SW. Klipsch has long been a favorite among bass enthusiasts who value highly resilient technology and room-filling low-frequency reproduction. As expected from this manufacturer, the look has been refined in detail compared to previous generations. In addition to looking good, the copper-colored ceramic membrane is extremely durable and lightweight. You can use it as a compact-powered subwoofer for your home theater. Similar to these models, the R100SW housing incorporates a speaker. This is an injection-molded graphite membrane transducer, composed of injected graphite and a thin layer of copper. Therefore, this base reflex box offers a leading transient response. The Klipsch R100SW subwoofer can deliver up to 112 dB of sound level at 32 HC at a distance of 1 meter because of its 150 watts RMS amplifier, enough to guarantee thrills when watching action films in a 200 to 300 square foot living room. With its reasonable dimensions, the R110SW is not only suitable for the living room, but also for a dedicated home cinema. In larger rooms, up to 250 square feet, it can be used as a single woofer. The R100SW subwoofer features a variable cutoff frequency of 40 HC to 120 HC, as well as an electrical phase adjustment. In addition to being triggered on an incoming signal, the power-up can also be forced. When the subwoofer is on standby after the action has begun, this feature prevents it from waking up too late. At number 2 is Yamaha NSSW50. Cinemas were considered to be the only authentic place to watch films for a long time. You could not recreate the powerful soundscape of the cinemas at home, especially in terms of sound. There have been a lot of changes since then, and subwoofers such as the NSSW1000 from Yamaha can now easily bring the great cinema feeling home. Yamaha's NSSW50 subwoofer delivers 50 watts of power to a speaker with an 8-inch diameter. You can easily move it from one room to another to enjoy favorite movies in different rooms because it is the smallest subwoofer for the home. In addition, it is sufficient to effectively support a pack of compact home cinema speakers and increase listening pleasure tenfold. Yamaha's NSSW50 subwoofer features a 50-watt amplifier. Yamaha's advanced YSD Roman 2 technology ensures very good control over the loudspeaker, which results in a linear response from 28HC to 200HC. In an extremely rigid cabinet, the 8-inch loudspeaker sits in the front position. Twisted Flare Port is a new generation vent developed by Yamaha that benefits from a bass reflex load. Airflow is channeled through a spiral tube to enhance bass response and reduce airflow noise. The Yamaha NSSW50 subwoofer has a single LFE input, making connection extremely simple. Therefore, it can only be used with amplifiers or chains equipped with a pre-amplified SUB or LFE output. The volume potentiometer and ignition button are also located on the rear panel. At number 3 is SVS SB1000. A 12 driver and 300W RMS amplifier are included in the SVS SB1000 subwoofer. With a frequency response of up to 24 HC, this compact device offers top performance from home cinema large format in a dedicated room to living room hi fi. SVS is a specialist in subwoofers. While the SB1000 housing opens up this range, it is still an extremely powerful housing. With its dimensions, SVS SB1 is designed to be integrated as discreetly as possible. The device was designed specifically to operate in small enclosed spaces, with a ventilated mobile coil accepting very high power. Its double magnet gives it great velocity. There are several DSP that provide linear response to the transducer. The result is the best small subwoofer for music. Under extreme conditions, the SVS SB1000 subwoofer amplifier delivers 720W peak and shows no signs of weakness. There are multiple settings, including a variable phase from 0 to 108 to effectively replace any speaker. 
A variable cutoff range of 50 HC to 160 HC is provided by the low-pass filter, as well as wideband operation LFE mode. It is practical for those who want their home theater amplifier to manage the low frequency cutoff frequency. When an incoming signal is detected, an auto power button turns on the SVS SB1000. There are two inputs on the SVS SB1000 subwoofer, a line input and a high level input. Therefore, its transit regime, linearity, and compact size make it stand out. Listeners who are seeking a rigorous box for listening to music will appreciate its closed load. At number 4 is Jamo S810 SUB. In keeping with Jamo Studio 8 speaker aesthetics, the S810 SUB subwoofer adopts a slender design to facilitate its integration, its flat box making it easy to place on the wall or slide under a sofa. Despite its modest power, the Jamo S810 SUB subwoofer embeds a Class D amplifier with high efficiency. On paper, it displays only 75 watts, but proof of the fact shows they are very real and well used. This 10 inches polyfiber diaphragm speaker benefits from a bass reflex load volume with a ground oriented vent. You can easily deploy the dynamic and powerful bass in a 250 foot or larger listening room when listening to these. A JAM OS 810 SUB subwoofer covers a frequency range of 36 HC to 180 HC, with a continuous cutoff frequency range of 40 HC to 160 HC. Potentiometers are also present for adjusting volume. An amplifier is connected only at a low level through a line or LFE input RCAX2. An audio signal triggers the subwoofer when the power switch is in the auto position, with auto standby occurring after a few minutes. Thanks to its efficient amplifier or speaker combination, Jamo's S810 SUB subwoofer will complement the Jamo Studio 8 Home Cinema Speaker Pack or any other compact Home Cinema Speaker Pack. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best until the next video.